Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm, I'm incredibly excited about this lecture. I'm not easily excited, but I have managed to find an absolutely incredible example. Upon some reflection, there are two broad themes in this class, liquor and furry animals. And I have an example that combines both. What you see here is the world's strongest beer packaged inside animal bodies. And I know sometimes when I tell you these stories that both have incredible pedagogical value, you'll always believe me. So I found it helpful to bring an actual prop. This is the squirrel. <laughs> and let's, let's discuss this and, and try to get a handle on some of the marketing issues here. This is a product with potential incredible value. As marketers, we need to find a way to extract the value. Matt, armed with the principles of economic value pricing, how would you attach a price to this? Well, to me, it looks like it's made out of real bits of squirrel, so you know that it must be good. Um, I would say probably about $299. I agree about 65% with that. And to show you the 35% that's missing, let me go to the board. If you think of this in a multidimensional space, this product is out here. Attribute number one, attribute number two. This is absolutely incredible value. Waiting for us to extract it. I think Matt is a bit conservative. Kevin, what, what do you think? Uh, for 15, or 20. Partial credit, okay? And in six and a half minutes, I will explain why that is not entirely correct either. We need a second perceptual map, and by the time we add that, I think you will see, you can actually price this thing at $1,000. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Prof, what does the supply chain look like? The supply chain is right here. Uh, this is Matt Ryer from Supply Chain. I was wondering if I could talk to a brand manager. Um, can I speak with Asa, please? Hey, Asa, what's up? Uh, this is Matt from Supply Chain. Uh, we're just doing our cross-functional planning here. We're trying to get the appropriate numbers of squirrels and bunnies and chipmunks um, for this upcoming season. Um, and I was wondering if I could get your, your numbers to plug in. Oh, you don't, you don't actually plan? You just pick the numbers. Okay. Well, then I guess we'll do everything again, just like we always do. Uh, yeah, because we actually plan effectively. Okay, thank you. Sells one of these. Hmm. I, I think we just cut her open. What do you think of that? I mean, you can put your hand in there, right? Yeah, right up through the head. Well, the bottle will fit the same way. Nice. Well, looks good. <laughs> Thank you. 
between cons uh, investing now um, and consuming now and receiving later and consuming later. So what, how do you describe that trade-off between investment now and your receipt later or receiving funds later? Um, yeah, let's see, Any, anybody? George, how do you describe that? Um, you buy low and sell high? George. Cameron, you know the answer to this. Time value of money. Come in. <laughs> Sorry. Cameron, say time value of money. Say it loud. Cameron, look at me. That's right. Cameron, look at me and say it, please. 